Hi my friends, how are you? I hope everybody's fine. My name is Daniel Villadino. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before going to the project for today, I would like to make an announcement. My wife, Paula, and myself are really uh, enthusiastic because we are going to start a project in which we are going to remodel our home. Uh, we are going to be doing an addition to the back of the house in which we are going to have a terrace uh, that will replace the current deck which is small and is uh, really falling apart and underneath the terrace there is going to be a big room that is going to become a new workshop and that's great because it's going to be substantially larger than the one that they have now I cannot do several projects here right now because my table saw is in the garage and some of the other tools, uh, the big tools, are in the garage as well or even I don't have them because I don't have space where to put them so this new workshop is going to bring me the opportunity to have all the tools in the same place as well as some racks for storage of uh, blanks and you know turn uh, bowls and also spindle blanks etc so really enthusiastic about this but the thing is that we are starting the project these days we are going to have to go through architects and construction companies and permits and then uh, move things around and then the process is going to begin and that will require uh, a lot of time from me and my wife which means that I will have less time to upload videos in YouTube I will still try to do that but I will apologize to you if that is not possible with the frequency that uh, you are used to so very enthusiastic about this project because it will allow me to start uh, with different projects like segmented work which I haven't done that much because I normally don't have my table so uh, available or things like that so let's see what happens uh, now uh, going to the project for today the idea is the following in the organization where I work there is a health unit and in that health unit there is a nurse uh, who organizes every year a health fair she basically goes and requests to doctors and other service providers like nurses and laboratories uh, to come down to our organization and basically offer their services for free so it's a really quite an enterprise and she's doing this every single year which is incredible because it benefits the, the employees of the organization, their families, and also retirees and, and pensioners. Uh, so it's great. And this year uh, she thought about sort of rewarding or recognizing the, the companies that have been providing these services for so many years, some of them for more than five years already, by giving them a plaque in which uh, there is going to be the logo of the organization as well as a small message saying something like in recognition for so many years of uh, providing services in the healthcare etc etc so she knows that I have a lathe and she knows that I have a workshop and she asked me if it would be too difficult to make uh, plaques in, in good and I offer her that I will do the job at the beginning we thought that it there will be like four or six of these plagues but now the project has grown to ten so I went to Home Depot and I got a long board it's nine and one quarter inch actual size in, in width and it was eight feet long so I, I cut the squares and I already marked the centers and the circles that will give me an idea more or less of the size of these plaques they are going to be circular plaques they are going to have here an insert that will be the logo of the organization the, the logo is provided by the staff association is a nice wide uh, coin which has the image of the, of the logo on one side and uh, is metal basically so I will do a recess to put that there glue but it will come out a couple of millimeters probably so it's going to look uh, pretty nice and then on the base there is going to be a plaque that they already uh, sent uh, to the printer that will have the message 
because uh, the fair is coming soon, I and I want to do the ten of them. I thought that probably we'll go with a simple design for the border, kind of a curved border. It will be easier to sand and to finish and everything. So I'm going to do a recess a mortise on one side. I'm going to turn it around, do the, the front of the, of the piece. And then for the recess, I have a couple of options. Um, one of them is that I already have a Forstner bead that is three inches uh, in diameter, which is the same diameter as the big coin that should be going in. I will make a test with a piece of uh, scrap wood, see how that works. If that works well, I will probably go with that solution. The other solution is, actually something I would like to do, is to put it in the eccentric uh, turning platform and do that in the lathe. But that probably will take more time. So. I will see which one is the one that works faster and I will go with that one and I will show it in the video. So that's today's project, uh, actually today's, tomorrow's and probably for the next few days. I hope you enjoy it, let's get to work. I cut 10 squares of red oak of 9 and 1 quarter of an inch of side and three quarters of an inch of thickness. Just as a precaution, I eliminate the splinters with some paper. As a reference, I mark the centers and I trace circumferences of the largest possible diameter. Over the turning platform, I trace a square of the same size as the blanks I cut to place one well center in the platform. I use double-sided turner's tape to attach one of the blanks to the platform. This blank will serve as a base for turning the others. The double-sided tape provides a nice hold, but to be on the safe side, I put a screw in each corner. Please observe that I countersink the screws so their heads will be below the blank's face.
I attached another blank to the first. Also, I realized that the surface was not perfectly perpendicular to the lathe rotation axis. So I cut very thin shims and I placed them in such a way that I finally got the surface in the ideal position. Please observe that I am placing the screws in different positions with respect to the ones in the first blank. the rotation center and with a compass I mark the diameter for the plate and the diameter for the mortise. With a pencil I verify that the surface is pretty perpendicular to the rotation axis. Once I made enough space with the parting tool, I used a skew chisel to give to the mortise wall a tilt that will match the dovetail of the chuck jaws. I use a parting tool to remove the corners. These are fixed with a screw and some turner's tape, so there is not too much danger that they will fly away. But still, just in case, when the cut is about to be complete, I take it easy and I place my body far from the plane the corners could fly away. You can notice a change in the cutting sound pitch when it is about to get done. I sand the bases from 80 up to 320 grit. From there I will apply abrasive paste and finally friction polish.
the base for this plate is ready. Now to repeat the process for all the others. You can see the screw holes for all the plates for which I made the bases. Now remains the initial one. The process is similar, but I will stop a bit earlier to avoid damaging the turning platform. I remove the plate that served me as a base for the others and I complete the cut with a small saw. Holding the plates by the mortises I did on the back side, I can now turn all the fronts and give shape to the borders. When I test with the pencil, I realize that it still requires a pass to level the surface. I test once more and now I verify that the surface is even.
The turning part for this plate is finished. Now I repeat the process for all the others. Since they are handmade, there are small differences between one plate and another. I measure the diameters to consider this in the next steps. I use PowerPoint to prepare some templates that will help me to locate the circular recesses where I will glue the large logo coins with a realization seal and also one to help me perforate the corners of the metallic plates with the messages. a sacrificial board I attach the page with a perforation template and very carefully I screw a couple of stray sticks that will serve as stops. Once I place the template in such a way that the tip of the bit matches the perforation point on the paper, I can, really fast, make the perforations in each of the corners of each of the 10 metallic plates. The same idea applies to make the circular recesses using a Forstner bit of 3 inches. thick CA glue to glue the coins in the recesses. I give the CA glue plenty of time to cure completely.
Using a ruler to measure the distance from the coin to the metallic plaque and the distances between the corners of the metallic plaques and the good disc, I place the metallic plaque in the correct position. Then I mark with a punch the place for the holes, I make small pilot holes and I remove the protection of the double sided tape from the back of the metallic plaque and I screw them to the good discs. I use a square and a level to ensure that once I place behind the hook and the wood plate is hung, the metallic plate will be in the horizontal position. a couple of felt pads to avoid damaging the wall, a slight buffing to the front and this plate is ready. Ten red oak plaques to honor and thank these health service providers that offer their selfless help so that the OAS Fair is such a success. Many thanks to all. And many thanks also to Ari, the health unit, and all the volunteers that make this health fair possible each year. Okay, my friends, I have finished the 10 plaques. You can see them here. They are made in red oak, uh, beautiful wood. Um, this is the part uh, that goes against the wall with a hook over there and two felts so that it will not damage the, the wall. The front with a coin with the logo of the Organization of American States and the metal plaques that I had to perforate and you could see uh, on the computer I did a couple of uh, templates one uh, for being able to position the perforation for, for this uh, insert here and the other one uh, to make the small holes in each corner of the plaques the plaques are attached with double side tape but also with these small screws so to do that, I had to perforate them and it was a good idea to have that uh, template. Okay, so nice project for the health fair at the organization. I am going to put some pictures of the plaques at the end of this video and also I will put there uh, some pictures that have been sent by the subscribers of the channel. Claudio, from Bahia Blanca, Argentina, sent me these pictures of a mortar he made in Paraiso Wood with the maze in red eucalyptus. Very good job, Claudio. Carlos, from Barcelona, Spain, made this box in Urundai wood with the base and lid in zebra wood. The pole is filled with epoxy and the insert is in maple. Beautiful piece, Carlos. And Jorge, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, 
made this beautiful goblet with the wood of a cattle fence post. It looks great, Jorge. And here you can see a couple of pictures of the red oak plaques. Okay, hope you enjoyed these pictures. I also hope you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, please don't forget to mark the like button down below, make comments, and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. And it will be until the next one. Cheers!